In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this needle felted kitten. She's entirely made of wool except for her eyes, so there's no wire or any sort of armature required. I have plastic safety eyes and two different colors of acrylic paint. I'm going to mix these. The gold has a metallic to it, which is going to give the eyes um, a really sparkly shine. I paint the back side of these plastic safety eyes and I'm going to set them aside to dry. Now I'm going to start forming the head with just a little bit of wool that I'm very loosely getting started. I'm going to use my awl and put placeholder eyes into the wool. You can see I poke right through to the back side, put in another placeholder eye, and at this point I'm going to really start felting the head to be really dense. So it's going to require a lot of squishing down the wool, squeezing out the air, and then felting it in place. Most of this kitten is made entirely of core wool, core wool roping. So I'm starting on the body here, and as you can see, I just tied several knots to get that felting process sped up. So I'm gonna wrap some more core wool, tie it in a knot, just felt it down. Right now, I'm not particularly making a certain shape. I'm just trying to get um, a tight bundle of wool to start for the body. As I continue to felt the wool, I start to just sort of envision how the body might start to take shape. So I see a curve back here and I'm going to use that as the back of the kitten. And I'm just going to keep building up from that area. These are going to be the legs, the hind legs, where the knee would be bent for a cat in a sitting position. So on both sides now I've kind of allowed it to be thicker on those two edges to be the knees of the cat. And this right here will be the belly and the, the two knees and this is going to be the back. But I'd like to fill that in on that lower region so that the angle of the back is more how I would like. So right now I just added some more core wool and I'm going to fill in that gap that I had just showed you. All right, so now I've got that gap filled in and the angle of the back is how I want. I'm gonna take the placeholder eyes out and glue the real eyes that I've painted into the head. I just use a drop of tacky glue, press them in, and press them firmly, and I'm back to working on the body. Here's the knees you can see of the cat. This one's a little bit too high, so I'm gonna work on that so it matches the other side. And we'll just keep sort of pulling the shape that I want from this wool. Just looking at the overall shape again. So here is the kitty's back, and the front part is the belly right there. You can see where the knees are. Now I'm going to take some more 
pull the rope in and I'm going to roll it into a tight log. Felt it in place a bit. Keep that nice and tight and roll some more. This is going to be for the front legs. And I just want to make sure that it's got plenty of wool so that it'll be dense enough, even without armature, to hold its shape. So just keep felting and rolling until you get to about this point. And I'm actually going to cut this in half. And this is going to make both of the front legs. So I'm wrapping some of that wool, and I'm actually pulling some of that loose wool up toward the top. And I'm just going to felt it onto the side here so that it only hangs off on the top. And as I do that, I'm also going to start shaping the foot. So just kind of roll that a little, just like the other one. This is the second leg now and tack that loose wool in place, start tightening it up, and also start forming the shape of the paw. And the loose wool that I'm leaving at the top is part of what I'm going to use to attach the leg to the body. So now I'm just gonna do a lot of really tightening this wool and creating the shape of the front leg and the paw. Just testing out the height and the positioning of these front legs. And then I will, once they have them where I want, I will attach them. And just stab all of that loose wool into the body. I'll still build up the shoulders more later. This is just to get it initially attached. And I'm gonna do a lot more tightening this up. This kitty ends up having a very sturdy body and legs. Now that I have the front legs in place, I'm going to make the back legs, but I only need to make the lower half because the knee is already um, attached to the body. So I'm just making, basically it's uh, from the heel down, I'm just going to make a little rolled log that has a little bit of loose wool up at the top and that's what's going to attach it. I decide I'm gonna actually make this be the left back foot. There's a little bit too much fluffy wool there, so I just cut some of that off. And then I start building this part of the foot in place on the body. And 
I actually do a lot of just really tightening up these legs, especially the front legs for this kitten. So there's going to be a lot of time that I'm just stabbing on those front legs. Second back foot, just getting it wrapped and built up until it's the same size as the other foot. And then I'll just belt that in place as well. going to add some wool to the back leg to start to make the appearance of the upper leg sort of hanging over that lower part and also building up the knees just continuing to uh, define the shape of those hind legs so you can kind of see how that looks Now I'm going to start creating the toes on the paws. I always start in the very center of the paws, make the first divide that goes right down the middle, and that'll line up where the first, or the, the middle two toes would be in the front. And then once that's clearly defined, I'll make the toes a toe on each side so that there will be four little toes. And then I'll do that for all the paws. On the front paws, there's also a fifth toe that's sort of like a thumb, and I'll be adding that later. I'm going to go ahead and add the toes to all the other feet and I will continue to tighten up these front legs. So I'll kind of push the legs in place and belt them so that they really tighten up right in the position that they need to stay. Just working on more of the toes now on the back feet until all the feet have four little toes. Now I'm going to make the kitten's tail. So I'm just taking a, a piece of wool roving and rolling it and I'm putting it in sort of a C shape. And I'm just going to felt it in place like that. Again, this particular sculpture has no wire in it at all. And sometimes it's, it's kind of fun and freeing to just sculpt with the wool by itself. You can actually get it to hold its shape really nicely if you're just diligent about really belting all the air out of there and getting the wool really dense. Alright, so let's start working on making the kitten's face. I'm basically going to take four little balls of wool that I just roll into balls, two larger ones that'll be the cheeks for this kitten and two smaller ones to be the nose and the chin. And then I'm going to take some wool that I just lay below the eyes and also above the eyes. I'm going to create sort of the eye sockets around these eyes. And then here's a, another spot that's sort of the bridge of the nose. So I'm just taking little bits of wool that I just kind of, that one I just folded in half, both of these that go over the eye. They're just bits of wool that I folded over. I'm going to start creating the eyebrow and just the overall shape of the face. Still has a long way to go. It's going to go through some weird looking stages. But we just have to get this built up and have the, the eyes be in the sockets and not just bulging out. And I'm 
just working on the shape of the mouth. I'm adding some white wool at this point over the structure that I've got, the basic structure of its muzzle. Because this is going to be a white kitten on these areas, I need to start incorporating the white wool early so that uh, the creamy color of the natural wool doesn't show through as much. So I'm just build, doing the rest of the building up of the muzzle using the white. And make sure I keep the definition of the mouth really clear. And went over those brows going along the sides of the muzzle and around the eyes. I'm going to add white to the tail now. Just wrapping some of the white wool around it and just attaching it. Putting some white over the attachment point. And then I'm kind of testing out where I think I want this head to be. So I'm using some of the core wool to sort of create the neck region and also an attachment point where I can attach into the head and into the body and get the two pieces connected. This takes a lot of really, I squish down the head and I stab the wool really as far as I can down there. At this point I decided I wanted the eyes a little bit narrower um, in terms of the distance between the eyes. So there'll be several parts where I was squeezing the head tight like this and then felting that wool down so that the eyes weren't quite so far apart. This takes a while of just getting the head how I want it, the eyes closer together and the head at the angle that I want it to be. And now I'm just kind of working again on the shape of the muzzle reinforcing those lines that go along the nose and along the mouth. I'm going to add a little bit more white to the nose and a little bit to the sides of the muzzle just to keep working on that shape. And then I'm going to take some black wool roving and I'm going to roll it between my fingers a little just to get the wool sort of clinging to itself so it's not too loose. And I'm going to take that all the way around the edges of the eye. And I'm going to use this black wool to actually create the shape of the eye so that it's not just a circle. Uh, in addition to the wool that I used that goes where the brow and the underneath of the eye, it, that does also add to the shape of the eyes. But the black is going to really make a nice outline so that the eye isn't just a circle. You can do that on both eyes. I'm also going to put it on along the mouth and then that should, I think that's the only black that I use on this kitty. At the very end I'm going to add a tiny bit of gray just for like the little whisker marks and a couple little brow accents but the rest of this is all just going to be a white kitten. So the nose is made of this pinkish color of wool and I'm going to use this one plus a little bit of a dark one for some um, definition along the nose. And I'm also going to use this color, the same light pinkish color in the ears and as the toes actually of the kitty cat. I'm just working on getting the mouth detailed. I'm going to lay some white over that black so that it's not quite so um, stark of a contrast. I just want to get some shadowing in there. So I'm just going to keep kind of working on the shape of the face. I'll do a lot more of the shaping around the eyes and the part where the tear ducts meet up with the bridge of the nose. Make sure that that's clearly defined. And the sides of the muzzle, just kind of fine tuning all of the shaping. Then 
I'm going to take some more core wool and I'm going to start building up the chest area of the kitty and along the neck to really make sure it's well attached and super, super stable and not going to flop around or not hold its position correctly. So I'm building up that chest a little bit and again really securing the positioning of the head. start working on the kitty's toes. So I roll the pink wool in my fingers till it's sort of pre-felted and then I attach that little pink ball of wool. That's one of the toes and then I just keep repeating that process. Now I'm going to make the little thumb pad for the kitten and then there's another little pad that's sort of near the wrist. So there's those two and I'll just sort of create the shape of those as I go by adding the white building up on top of those. Now I'm going to keep adding details to the face. I'm just adding more white to the muzzle in areas that need it until I have the shape and the look just how I want. I'm just working on shaping. I'm adding some white to the underside so that it's all white by the time on the underneath by the time I start working on the top so that I don't have to handle the um, longer part of the fur too roughly once it's in add some of the white roving in between the toes so that it appears fluffy between the toes since this is a kitten that has a longer coat. I'm just going to make sure that the lower portion of the kitty has all the white that it needs. So on the front legs and on the knees and the feet and the tops of the toes and the bottoms of the feet. To add the fluffy fur to the body I'm taking small pieces of wool roving that I've cut to be about two centimeters or around an inch and I'm just felting down an invisible center line and then folding over and securing. So I'm going to continue to do that with little pieces that are about an inch long and just put that all the way up the body of the cat. When it comes to the face, I'm going to add some of the roving along the cheeks to create the puffy look that it has off of its cheeks. And to make the ears, I just took two strips of core wool roving and I folded them in half, sort of at an angle to create that L shape. And then I felted them down onto the foam pad. And then I added the pink color to the ears and pulled them off of the pad and then I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video. Unfortunately I think I forgot to turn the camera back on after I had taken a break and I'm so sorry about that. So I'm just gonna talk you through what happened. I flipped over those ears and I took the white roving and felted it onto the back side of the ears and then flipped them back over and just felted the white roving along the edges um, on the front side of the ear. Then I picked up the little ear, held it between my fingers so that it curved into a sort of cupped shape, and then felted that onto the cat's head. You can see um, how I did that in the fox tutorial that I have available. And that tutorial's full length and in great detail. And this next part is in time lapse, so I unfortunately can't really slow it down, but I'm just adding more long wool roving, the little one inch pieces to the front of the face and up the back of the head all the way to the forehead. And then I'm going to 
use the needle to have the wool lay down in the direction that I want it to lay down. I'll just keep poking at it until it's all smoothed as much as I would like. And I'll also create the shaping like you see from the corner of the eye just by um, tucking that wool in the way that I want it to be so that all the wool falls the way I want around the face and frames the eyes the way I want. There is some gray that I added to the brows and in the whisker area and a tiny bit just to further define in between the toes. I hope this video has been helpful and maybe even inspired you to try making your own needle felted kitten. And this particular kitten is my free giveaway this year. I do one free giveaway annually. So she is available on my Facebook page through April 6th to enter the contest and possibly win this little kitten. Thank you so much for watching.